Good evening everybody. We have a Pioneer SP99D that we're going to go ahead and put a digital out uh, mod on. We're going to put an optical out uh, like all the other processors. So sit back, relax, and this will be a shorter video because we've kind of covered some of this stuff. But I want to show you tap points and how you take the processor apart. So let's get to it. I'll save you from some of this, but um, on the back, there's a screw right here, screw here, screw here, and then obviously the wooden sides have to be removed. So, uh, the next thing to do after removing the bonnet is to remove this shroud and then this metal panel. This will allow us to the audio board and to the 5 volt and the ground connections. There are two screws, two screws on the back. This board, or this, sorry, IC, should be the one that we're going to tap into for the digital feed. And then uh, positive five volt is on this board, and then there's a ground connection over on this board. All right, we're going to go ahead and tin the wires, and then go ahead and uh, solder them onto this connector. Since I'm not going to seat this connector um, in a circuit board, I'm going to go ahead and clip off the plastic tabs. All right, so starting on this side, going to this side, it's gonna be ground, positive five volts, signal.
just as an extra precaution, I like to put a little heat shrink tubing over my solder joints just so they don't happen to touch each other. Here we go. So this thing is ready to be soldered onto the board. All right, so the next part that's important is where we're gonna put this optical out. And experience has shown me that right here is the best spot. Uh, there's already kind of a hole with these, these lines cut in. So I just cut in a further spot uh, for the optical out to go and you can kind of hold it up and get an idea roughly. But um, fits great there. Doesn't look really out of place. Uh, so that's the way we're gonna go. But before we put that in, we're going to just kind of rest this right around here and then solder our uh, wires to the board. So I've got my optical out kind of just temporarily taped up here to give me kind of an idea on uh, final position. So I'm gonna take my ground and five volt leads. I was actually wrong, uh, my five volt is gonna be over here. Not on this board like I thought. So I'm actually gonna run it through a hole right here and then right under this uh, kind of heat sink here. I'm going to leave kind of a service loop there. And then my ground connection is going to be on this screw right here. You can find a bunch of different ground locations, but that's the one that works for me. That's the one that worked in the past. So that's what we're going to use. So it's a little sloppy on the 5 volt connection, but I always tend to just cut a little bit of it off. Put a little bit of flux. Five volt connection. This one's a little tough to solder onto. but tougher than I wanted it to be.
Just put it there. No worries. All right, that is positive five volts and ground. Just tie all these together. Next, we will do the signal wire. So I'm gonna stay with the surface loop here. We're just kinda gonna turn around on itself. Right about there. Now it looks on the screen, but that leg is really small. One thing we want to make sure of is that we did not bridge contacts. Looks like we're okay. <clears throat> So that is the, uh, the basics of this mod. Dress that in a little bit. Put a tie on it. The last thing would be to get this uh, hole cut for this guy and then get it anchored, fire up the machine, make sure we have a signal, test it, and uh, we're in business. And obviously put it back together. So let's do that.